how we all diddly doing? How's everybody holding up? I'm still a bit shy in front of this microphone because I've got new neighbours, but you know what? If I can hear them partying on a night, then I can talk and record a video because this is my job. Oh, that was a little bit passive aggressive, was it not? Anyway, hello. How are we all holding up? How are we all doing? Today I'm going to be looking a little sim wild. I did do a video on this recently and I was very excited about it and let me tell you Ed, that excitement has not dissipated she is here she's thriving she's ready and waiting for it and little simworld also supported me when twitter tried to cancel me for calling boris well just calling boris johnson tacky i did also tell boris johnson to sleep with one eye open i, 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 I will admit that but also i will admit that i can't i wouldn't do it again because i most definitely would given the opportunity this is not sponsored or affiliated in any way shape or form they're not paying me to say anything that i say in this video in fact i pay them on patreon because i want to see this game so bad. They told me that I can share a couple of Patreon posts as well, which I'm excited about. Let's get the green screen, shall we? She's got trousers on today. Yes, that's right. Trousers, actually not. I was gonna do the, the splits, but I don't, don't know if that would quite frankly be appropriate. I fucking forgot my Patreon. I've locked myself up my fucking Patreon. You couldn't make it up. Sorry, Declan. Right, decorate and build mode. The bab has been working hard this week. I'm exhausted. For you. Has this got sound? Oh, apparently it does. Hang on. Oh, that is satisfying. Oh, I wish I could hear it, but I can't. I love it. It's got more customization. I think I might have already watched this one. Or did I watch the toilet one? It's got more customization than I was expecting, honestly. Oh, I love it. I wouldn't trust that wardrobe as far as I can throw it. Honestly, it looks fucking haunted, doesn't it? I mean, it's a nice wardrobe. The design's nice. Aesthetically, it's it's like it's designed very well. But it just it wouldn't just be my personal choice. You know what I mean? I can't see a bath at Little Sims World. I would like to see a bath. I'd like a bath to be included because I'm a bath girl. Like genuinely, I will be in a bath and the water will get cold, so I'll run water out of it whilst running the hot taps. <laughs> I can't see it. I could stay in the bath like three hours, mate. Not a bother. I'm loving the plant choices. I'm loving how simple everything is honestly but it's not like the graphics aren't bad simple oh my god decorations you know everybody in the sims community is a fucking slag for decorating a slag for clutter is there a synonym for slag that starts with a c also i'm reclaiming the word slag oh sasha i see ya i see ya oh wait no i won't actually recall i won't reply well because she won't actually know that i'm recording a video right now so if i just reply like hey babe you'll be like what the fuck's <laughs> What the fuck's Jessie doing? Right, the telly, I love. This is very interesting. I love, oh my God, I love that cactus. Look at that. Oh, oh, you know what? No, I love everything. Apart from these two, but that is a personal preference because I do think flowers smell of Victorian piss. So I don't like to look at them, but I do like pl plants like this. Teddy bears creep me out, but I think it's because I lived a past life as a Victorian. I don't know if I've ever spoke about that, but I just feel very strongly that I, I was a Victorian and also that I was in the World War. I've got memories of honestly no seriously catch me on stream one time and remind me of it because I'm telling you I went through the war <laughs> No, but seriously, like teddy bears, specifically old teddy bears, always make me feel like some kind of way because it's because of the past memories, babe. Because the past memories, it's, it's a past, past memory. It's a childhood trauma. trauma. My parents were amazing parents, by the way. Oh, this is nice little before and after, right? Does my internet want to play ball? Virgin Media's been a bit of a slag recently. Okay, so this is the original one. I love Charles's mustache, honestly. What a vibe. Happy fatty. What? <laughs> Listen, at first I was a bit thrown off by the happy fatty water, but I, 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 this this perplexes me more. Right, and then, oh, wow. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, this, this is still beautiful to me. This is a, this is still my type of game, but this had a little bit of spice. spice. That is beautiful. We've also changed the, the water bottle and the, <laughs> the thing that goes with it. French bottle mineral water. <laughs> Cock, happy fatty water, change to water bottle. Fresh bottle of mineral water. I love it. The double decker bus looks very nice. It looks a lot more contemporary, if you know what I mean. You know how old games, when they were kind of like this, it looks like that brought in uh, the 21st century. I like it a lot. Can we have two floors? I wonder when I'd be seeing you, Mr. Potter. Oh, house building. Never trusted a wooden toilet seat. Do they, I hope the varnished. I hope that's a varnished wooden toilet seat. I'm loving the starter furniture though. Like the I love like dirty sinks, dirty showers. Not in real life, obviously. I'm not a dirty pig. Like in games and stuff, I love being able to start like modestly. This is a land grab house if ever I have seen it. Like honestly, the, the, 
Definitely a land grab house. I wonder if that's the same kind of, I don't know. Actually, you know, we saw in the video because I was wondering like if we just get one house that we can build, is this the same plot as this? No, it looks like the different... Oh, well, that's like two years ago, isn't it? So don't quote me on that one. Oh my God, lunchtime. Oh, Jen Evans. She's a doctor. <laughs> I want this game so bad. I'm the same for it though, even knowing the release date. Bitch me to the fuck. I really want this to come out on Switch. Like I'd love this on PC, but on Switch, oh my God. I could imagine being in bed on a night playing this. Like this is my holy grail. And I haven't even played it yet. Oh, <laughs> I know she's just fainted, but still she's done it so beautifully. I like how we can shop as well. Oh. <laughs> don't mind me, I'm just fucking getting excited over buying groceries and I've, I don't buy groceries anymore in my real life, you know. Don't question these phases that I go through. I'm not a grocery shopper anymore. I'm not going to expand on it. I'm just going to let you wonder. Trigger one in food, trigger one in eating habits. So I am going to actually expand on it because I'm absolutely fucking furious to be honest with you, darlings. So the reason that I stopped buying groceries was because I have a very weird eating schedule. Always have done, always will do. It's very common for people like me. So me and my mum decided together that maybe we should just buy ready meals, healthy ready meals. So then I remember to eat and everything like that. And I get on more of a schedule. So we thought, oh, that's perfect. So I booked my delivery at Tesco's. Don't usually trust Tesco's, but I thought they've got a nice selection of meals. So apparently they attempted to deliver my order at 21.40 last night, which is a fucking bold-faced lie. And I know it is because I was sat at the top of the stairs having a panic attack because I knew that someone was going to be knocking on my door in a minute. I'd worked myself up all night for it. And they weren't there, and I'll tell you that. And on my delivery notes, I said, please don't knock. I have autism. Leave on the front step and go. So now I'm without my shopping in a pandemic. <sighs> Don't trust Tesco's, babes. Honestly, go to Morrison's. Oh, you can take the bus when you're on a budget. Buy your very own car later. Oh my God, we've got ATMs. Raven, I swear, you're going to have to stop with these posts, babe. You're going to have to stop because I'm going to have to have Declan blurring all of these out <laughs> because I don't think I'll be monetized if you keep coming up. They've took the skin tone thingy on board, which I am happy to see. Oh, they got less of this. I'm sure there used to be so many of them. Anyway, let me know Let me know if they were taken out. I'll, I might find out why when I scroll down, but yeah. I don't know if this is on purpose, but this kind of reminds me of ovaries. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm saying like, I, I kind of like the innuendo there, birthday, because you know, you birthed, your egg travels through the fallopian tubes into the uterus, I think. I don't know, pregnancy terrifies me. Oh, leg readers are, oh my God, they've got legs right to put me on the cover of oak <laughs> but my legs were too long i like that i've got legs honestly i do <gasps> i have a mini coffee or tea oh can i have a nice latte with a sugar-free caramel and soy milk please thanks for him <laughs> oh mistakes in the image accidentally have wrong plug sockets we'll refer to the we'll revert this to a three pin uk socket soon <gasps> Ooh. I don't understand why American plug sockets are always turned on all the time. Like, why don't you not have a, a switch to turn it off? Oh, new animation. Oh, I like that the hair actually moves with your and all. <laughs> She's like fucking Goldilocks, isn't she? This bench is too big. This bench is too small. This bench is too hard. And this bench is just right. Goldilocks looking ass. God, I love grocery shopping. I don't buy groceries anymore in my real life, you know. Oh my, oh my God, this washing stuff. Fuck off, shut the fucking front door. Shut the front door. <laughs> Julian, let's go. Uh, after my recent ordeal with Tesco's, that image does actually offend me quite a bit, honestly. I am so excited for this game. I think I've re reacted to this one. Right, let me have a little gander on the, the Patreon. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's taken me back to my previous life. I love this. It's so cute. I don't know what these words, I know what they mean, but what is it? I'm loving the decorations. I'm loving it. The art style is so, mwah. it's so chef's kiss. I used to play dressupgames.com where you could dress up dolls and stuff like that but some of them had like where you could make little houses and stuff and this is what this reminds me of and those games were my favorite as a kid apart from the sims and apart from harry potter obviously but like online games that and lilo and stitches burger maker yeah this game means a lot to me <laughs> oh my good god i love it i'm very happy with the energy that was created in the studio today oh my god the bank saint bank i've never heard of him library oh there's someone using printers do you, do you need an actual library card to get in oh this is so good this is 
the land grab house. Gates. Oh, Lord game. Oh, I absolutely love this artwork in the background. Like this is so beautiful to me. Love a lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry. But yeah, I definitely, definitely recommend going and viewing the Patreon and keeping up with it because I'm so excited for this game. I've had my eye on this game for like a very long time now, actually. So I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. Don't know if you can tell. I'm excited. I'll, 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 I'll. Mm, she's stuttering. Anyway, I'm really excited for this game, honestly. I think that The Sims have, has kind of had like a monopoly on life simulation games for the longest time now. We haven't really had any of the games. Like obviously we, we've had all the games. We've had like Animal Crossing and stuff like that. And Animal Crossing is coming out now. Uh, well, it's been out since like last year. What is time in quarantine, honestly? I really like that there's more games now that are coming out that simulate just the boring bits of life, like going to the shop, going to the bank. What else is there? There's Calico, which that's like you live in a world and you run in a cat cafe. I should have a video on that already out actually. What else? Paralives, of course. I forgot about Paralives. So all in all, like I'm very excited to see different versions of life simulation games. And I think the best way, I say this in every Paralives video, but like I genuinely want the best for Little Sims World. Little Sim World. And I think that the best way to get the best for Little Sim World is to just not compare it to The Sims and be like, well, in The Sims we can do this and The Sims we can do that. And just let this game stand on its own and be what it can be on its own. Same with power lives. I can't wait for it. I've got tweet notifications turned on for this game. I barely have tweet notifications turned on for anybody. It comes out about March. I think there's an early alpha out. If anybody from Little Sim World is watching this, I would absolutely big fat love it if this game if this game came out on Nintendo Switch. Please, 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 please. I know it might not come out first. It might be a PC release first and then come out on Switch. But if you can get this out on Switch, please, 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 please. Please, as a birthday present, my birthday is July 5th, actually. Same as Vixella's. Oh, could be a joint birthday present for me and Vixella. Because Sasha just done a video on this as well. Oh, imagine. Oh, that would be really nice though. You know what? If you've done that, I'd help. I'd help with the marketing campaign, Little Sim World. Hit me up. Hit me up. I do it for free. That's how invested I am in this game. You can join the Patreon if the one. I'll, I'll leave the link to the Patreon and everything in the description. What tiers are there? Hang on. Let me have a little browse. So for $3 a month, you can get the Patreon only posts and priority be a pre-alpha and beta tester. If you do have an interest in this game and you would like to, then I'll leave the option below for you to do that. And if you want to support more than $3 a month, you can as well. But I'm just letting you know that's the starting price. If anybody would want to. I love you all. Thank you all very, very much for watching this. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, bitch.